Welcome back to Kashigories, your go-to channel for financial news, insights, and strategies. Today, we're diving into a topic that's creating ripples across the global economic landscape. China's $9 trillion debt crisis. Specifically, we'll explore how local government financing vehicles, or LGFVs, are pushing the nation towards a potential economic collapse. Stay tuned as we unravel this complex issue and its far-reaching implications. To grasp the gravity of China's debt situation, we first need to understand what local government financing vehicles, or LGFVs, are. In simple terms, LGFVs are special entities created by local governments in China to fund infrastructure projects and stimulate economic growth. These vehicles borrow money from banks and issue bonds, essentially accumulating debt to finance various projects. Initially, LGFVs played a crucial role in China's rapid urbanization and economic expansion. However, over time, these entities have become a double-edged sword, accumulating massive amounts of debt that now pose significant risks to China's economic stability. To truly understand the depth of the issue, we need to dive into the scale of the debt and how it has ballooned over the years. As of now, China's LGFVs are estimated to have accumulated around $9 trillion in debt. To put this into perspective, this amount is roughly equivalent to the economies of Germany and Japan combined. This staggering level of debt raises concerns about the sustainability of China's economic model and the potential for a financial crisis. But how did we get here? The story begins with China's rapid economic growth and the government's push for urbanization. Local governments, eager to boost their economies and meet growth targets, borrowed heavily through LGFVs. The assumption was that these investments would pay off in the long run, but reality has turned out to be more complicated. LGFVs operate by borrowing from banks and issuing bonds, often with implicit guarantees from local governments. This means that while the debt is technically held by the LGFVs, there's an expectation that the government will step in if these vehicles face repayment difficulties. This implicit guarantee has allowed LGFVs to borrow large sums of money at relatively low interest rates. However, this system has created a moral hazard, encouraging excessive borrowing and risk-taking. Local governments have often used LGFVs to bypass restrictions on direct borrowing, leading to a buildup of hidden debt that is not always reflected in official statistics. The sheer scale of LGFV debt poses several risks to China's economy. One of the most pressing concerns is the possibility of defaults. If LGFVs are unable to meet their debt obligations, it could trigger a cascade of defaults across the financial system, leading to a credit crunch and a sharp economic slowdown. Moreover, the heavy reliance on debt to finance growth has led to inefficient investments and overcapacity in certain sectors. Many infrastructure projects financed by LGFVs have not generated the expected returns, leading to financial strain on these entities and the local governments backing them. The Chinese government is acutely aware of the risks posed by LGFV debt and has taken several measures to address the issue. These include tightening regulations on LGFV borrowing, promoting the restructuring of distressed LGFVs, and encouraging local governments to improve their fiscal discipline. However, these measures have had mixed results. While some progress has been made in curbing excessive borrowing, the underlying issue of high debt levels remains unresolved. Additionally, the government's attempts to deleverage the economy have sometimes led to unintended consequences, such as slowing economic growth and increasing financial stress. Let's delve deeper into the mechanisms behind LGFVs and why they became such a prominent tool for local governments in China. The concept of LGFVs emerged as a way for local governments to bypass restrictions on direct borrowing imposed by the central government. By creating these special purpose vehicles, local authorities could raise funds for infrastructure projects without the debt appearing on their official balance sheets. This off-balance sheet financing allowed for rapid development and modernization, which was crucial for China's economic growth. However, the very design of LGFVs has inherent risks. The implicit guarantee from local governments created a moral hazard, where both lenders and borrowers believed that the central government would ultimately step in to prevent defaults. This belief encouraged reckless borrowing and lending practices, leading to the accumulation of massive debts. As LGFVs took on more projects, many of which were not commercially viable, 
the return on these investments often fell short of expectations, creating a financial strain. One key aspect of the LGFV debt problem is the lack of transparency. Many LGFVs operate with opaque financial practices, making it difficult to assess their true financial health. This opacity extends to the broader financial system, where hidden debts and contingent liabilities can suddenly surface, creating shocks that reverberate through the economy. This lack of clarity makes it challenging for regulators to implement effective oversight and for investors to make informed decisions. The situation is further complicated by the intertwined nature of China's financial system. Local governments, state-owned enterprises, and banks are all interconnected, meaning that distress in one area can quickly spread to others. For example, if an LGFV defaults on its debt, the banks that lent to it could face significant losses, which in turn could affect their ability to lend to other sectors. This interconnectedness increases the risk of systemic crises, where localized problems escalate into widespread financial turmoil. Let's take a closer look at the specific risks associated with LGFV debt. One major concern is the potential for a wave of defaults. If LGFVs start defaulting on their debt en masse, it could lead to a chain reaction in the financial system. Banks and other financial institutions holding LGFV bonds would face significant losses, leading to a credit crunch where access to financing becomes severely restricted. This could halt economic activity, leading to a sharp slowdown in growth and potentially a recession. Another risk is the impact on investor confidence. The perception of LGFVs as safe investments is largely based on the belief that the government will not allow them to fail. If this belief is shaken by a series of defaults, it could lead to a loss of confidence in the broader financial system. Investors might demand higher interest rates for Chinese bonds, increasing borrowing costs and putting further strain on local governments and businesses. Moreover, the reliance on debt to fuel economic growth has led to inefficient investments and overcapacity in certain sectors. Many infrastructure projects financed by LGFVs have not generated the expected economic returns, leading to financial strain. This misallocation of resources can hinder long-term economic growth and development, as capital is tied up in unproductive assets. The Chinese government has implemented several measures to address the LGFV debt problem. These include stricter regulations on borrowing, efforts to improve transparency, and initiatives to restructure distressed debt. However, these measures have had mixed results. While some progress has been made in curbing excessive borrowing, the underlying issue of high debt levels remains unresolved. Additionally, the government's attempts to deleverage the economy have sometimes led to unintended consequences, such as slowing economic growth and increasing financial stress. One of the major policy responses has been to tighten regulations on LGFV borrowing. The government has imposed limits on the amount of debt that local governments and LGFVs can take on, and has increased oversight of borrowing practices. These measures aim to reduce the accumulation of new debt and encourage more responsible borrowing. However, enforcing these regulations has been challenging, especially given the incentives for local governments to continue borrowing to meet growth targets. Another important measure has been the restructuring of distressed LGFVs. The government has encouraged the restructuring of LGFV debt to make it more manageable and sustainable. This can involve extending the maturity of the debt, reducing interest rates, or converting debt into equity. While these efforts can provide temporary relief, they do not address the underlying problem of high debt levels and inefficient investments. The government has also taken steps to improve transparency and accountability in the financial system. This includes requiring LGFVs to disclose more information about their financial health and operations, and increasing oversight of their activities. Greater transparency can help investors and regulators better assess the risks associated with LGFV debt and make more informed decisions. However, achieving meaningful transparency in a system that has long operated with opacity is a significant challenge. Despite these efforts, the risk of an economic collapse triggered by LGFV defaults remains a real concern. If a significant number of LGFVs were to default simultaneously, it could lead to a loss of confidence in the financial system, triggering a severe economic downturn. The potential for contagion is high, as a crisis in China could affect global supply chains, financial markets, and trade, 
leading to a worldwide economic slowdown. Looking ahead, the resolution of China's LGFV debt crisis will require a delicate balance of policy measures. The Chinese government will need to continue its efforts to improve transparency, enforce fiscal discipline, and restructure distressed debt. At the same time, it must manage the risks of slowing economic growth and maintain social stability. The path forward is fraught with challenges, but it's also an opportunity for China to reform its financial system and build a more sustainable economic model. The outcome of this crisis will have profound implications for China's future and the global economy. In conclusion, China's $9 trillion debt crisis and the risks posed by local government financing vehicles are critical issues that demand close attention. As we watch this situation unfold, it's essential to stay informed and understand the broader implications for the global economy. Thank you for joining us on Kashigories. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analysis of financial news and trends. Leave your comments below on what you think about China's debt crisis and any topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Until next time, stay informed and stay ahead.